So for today, we're going to be looking at the Wishful Ignorance. If you guys know, we've already reviewed the Hunter Exotics and one of the Titan videos as well, which they're all right here. You guys can check it out. And yeah, we're basically going to be doing what the other videos did, which we're going to be looking at what that actually does. We're going to be looking at the base look, how it looks, how it shaders, and then the example set. And then we're going to be looking at the ornament because all of the new exotics got the new ornaments. And from there, we're going to do the same thing, the new ornament, how it looks, how it shaders, and then the example set as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that does help quite a bit. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at what it actually does. Gain an additional frenzied blade charge. Frenzied Blade and fl Flache Storm briefly increases your damage with each strike. Pulses from your Banner of War return melee energy based on the number of allies healed. So this is also a great exotic. Um, get an additional Frenzied Blade charge, which means you have four melee charges. Uh, I think it's four. Or am I thinking about the Warlock? I think it's three, actually. Either way, you get an extra uh, charge on your on your melee, which is really cool. On top of that, Frenzied Blade or fl Flache Storm briefly increases your their damage with each strike so probably the best one is going to be fliche storm if each of those hits count i also would like to see if frenzied blade like your last hit on top of one two punch would be like a crazy combo and then pulses from your banner of war return melee energy based on the number of allies healed also a great choice so overall this is also a good exotic i really really like this now i would love to see how this pans out with because i'm pretty sure um banner of war got nerfed so i would like to see just how good this is actually but i've also been having a lot of fun with this one so yeah again it's, if it's fun i'm just gonna enjoy it even more and if it becomes meta that's just an icing on top so overall i think it's pretty cool as for how it actually looks so i'm gonna showcase the the whole thing right now and then when we look at shaders i'm gonna uh shrink it so that way both of the both of them can be in the same picture so i actually like how it looks my only gripe with it and i fucking knew this was gonna happen is the fact that the green glow does not change color very unfortunate because if the green glow changed color i think this would have been a banger or like look that being said it still looks really cool and if i if you if i were to argue like the reason the glow doesn't change color is probably because they wanted to make it um like thematic because this is a um a strand exotic that being said that's that's weak that's a weak ass excuse because there's other exotics that you can change the glow of and they're specifically towards that like um towards that like subclass or whatever so i think that's a weak choice um just let me change the color because then that would have been way better because now i have to work around it which i never really like as for how it shaders like i said shaders terribly it's gonna look really cool with pieces where you're like oh yeah like this has a green glow like for example ancient wisdom has a green glow therefore it's gonna look pretty cool with ancient wisdom but then you go to like echoed anger and it's gonna be like that's fucking weird because echoed anger doesn't have a green glow same thing for literally all the shaders that i'm showcasing right now um it's cryptic insignia for sure is like oh that's weird it's green oh it's not supposed to be green it's supposed to be like a like a like an aqua green not green so yeah, there's a lot of issues I have with this one. It's just the main fact that like it's green. Stop make stop doing this. Give me let me change the color. It's going to look cool, I promise you. So, for the example set, I'm going to be honest, man. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I don't like this set. Now, granted, this is funny because I don't like the set for the males. For the females, it actually looks really cool because it's doing the opposite of what I like where the male titans usually have really bulky arms and the chest piece is usually really bulky so it goes well together it's the opposite for this one because the arms are not as bulky for the males it the chest piece looks way too big but for the females it looks really cool because the chest piece looks really thin which goes well with the arms for the boots legacy oath greaves for the chest piece resonant fury plate for the helmet we're using the new helmet from this season and then for the mark light of the great prism so i think this is decent um legacy oath greaves is a good choice that being said there are that like salmon pink that doesn't change color on both sides um i'm ignoring that just because uh it does look really cool with all of the wiring with everything else so yeah i think the set looks really cool i would just go back into the drawing board to see if i can combine it with some other better pieces to be fair though the example set that i made for the second look it just looks way better and that's the look that i would go for if i were to get that ornament but 
speaking of ornament let's just go into it so for this one illogical fallacy i fucking love this ornament it looks so cool you have ahankara bones on the side on the back which is two heads on each side which is wild and yeah it definitely gives off like a viking uh ahankara hunter kind of thing which i fucking love it's so cool as for how it shaders unfortunately like i said um it shaders really terribly because the green glow doesn't change color which is very unfortunate but at this point because it looks so cool i'm just gonna like ignore it or work around it which is what i usually do and yeah it's very unfortunate because if it did change colors it would be so cool with some colors like the glow would be so insane but unfortunately we don't live in that world as for the example set i ended up going for lucid for the shadering for the helmet aphotic lemillar helm for the chest piece war newman's chest piece for the boots descending echo greaves and then for the mark mark of the pit so there's a lot of cool pieces here so first and foremost mark of the pit has that green glow just on default so if you didn't want to use lucid you don't have to you would just have to switch out the aphotic lemillar for something else um for the descending echo um specifically i wanted to use this because it goes really well with the chest piece and the chest piece goes really well with the mark because the mark uh specifically the front of the mark in the waist is the same from the war newman's uh mark so that's kind of why i ended up using all three for the helmet honestly i you could definitely use something else for the helmet specifically uh the the taken king helmet would have been way better in my opinion that being said i don't think it goes well with lucid at all which is why i didn't even try it because take the taken king armor set is just terrible when it comes to shadering so that's why i didn't use it which pisses me off all the time but yeah, I think this one is super dope. That being said, I definitely would want to make a set that uses the illogical fallacy, but make it into like a a Viking theme thing because that, I think that would have been a little bit better. Like a Viking witch doctor warrior type of thing would have been really cool. But I ended up going with this one because A, it was going to be super easy to do this one because I already had Mark of the Pit in mind for this. And the Warning Man's chest piece, I think, was going to look really cool with it. And I definitely think it looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think about this set. Overall, I'm really happy with um, a lot of the sets that I've made. Not just this example set or this video, but just for everyone, aside from Balance of Power. That one's doo-doo butter. But, yeah, I've done a, I'm really happy with a lot of them. Let me know what you guys think. Um, there's a few things I'm working on. The next video is going to be the Warlock ones, which I'm going to be doing in a bit. But after that i don't honestly know what i'm going to be doing aside from the solstice armor which after the solstice armor i don't know where, where we're going to go hopefully bungie gives us some new armor or i just have to wait until the new uh episode comes out which is completely fine but i will be making other content as well if there's new no new armor coming out i'll most likely will be doing like some themed videos where we go like oh like maybe we do another tactical video maybe we'll do like a hive theme video a cabal like enemy specific themed video like stuff like that i'll still be able to do and maybe go through some shaders i definitely want to go through some of the um some of the, ar the old armor set that i think people should get so that way i can like showcase that armor if it's being sold be like oh check it out what i did with that video but it'll probably be a fat video so that way i can have it all in one video either way we'll see let me know what you guys think if you guys have any suggestions for, for what kind of content you want me to make let me know in the comments below but in the near future i don't know if by the end of this year but hopefully soon ish i will be making my jump into uh, variety which means we're going to be going through warframe final fantasy 214 world of warcraft maybe elder scrolls online if i could get into the fashion of that and um we'll go through all of the other fashion from that and then my second channel hopefully will start popping off and then i can start doing more than just fashion for this channel because i didn't I haven't even mentioned this anywhere and it's funny that i mentioned it in a tiny video because most people probably won't watch the video but i've been thinking about either switching my name for this channel to something else so that way my second channel can have my fixed tony name because i do think uh fixed tony is just going to be my main channel where i do everything kind of like my hub and my fashion video definitely needs to be my like my secondary stuff so i'm still thinking about a lot of that because as much as i love destiny 2 i play a lot of other stuff i i'm very much a variety gamer because destiny 2 is not the only game i play i play a bunch of stuff so i'm still thinking about that i'm probably going to ask some youtube friends what their thoughts about that is 
but if you guys are wondering i was thinking about naming that new or this channel um uh edz runway just because uh, i'll explain it in, a, in another video but that's the name i was thinking about doing but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later